basically um, a senior judge has issued an arrest warrant uh, for Tommy Robinson, a.k.a. Stephen Yaxley Lennon, uh, after it was learned that he left the country on the eve of a major legal case against him. Those of you uh, who are supporters of Tommy Robinson will know uh, that he had a big rally at the weekend in London. Uh, about 100,000 people turned up uh, waving flags and uh, being very, very peaceful about the point that they said that they wanted to take their country back. Robinson knew that he had to appear on, in court on Tuesday um, and therefore tried to leave the country on Monday, was arrested trying to leave the country on Monday. Uh, it's a slightly complicated case, but Julian, hopefully um, you can explain it for us. Julian, very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. So, um, it seems to me that there's a problem with Tommy Robinson and, and the judiciary in this, in this country, almost as though they're not quite sure how to deal with him. Um, and he kind of is running rings around them at times. Um, there, there does seem to be a bit of a standoff between uh, Mr Robinson and the, uh, the courts. Um, uh, obviously, this is one of a number of cases that he's had to deal with, both on the criminal side yeah. and in in this particular instant, the civil side. Right. I mean, there were a lot of people, uh, particularly sort of free speech um, advocates, who were concerned that he appears to have been arrested this time under terrorism charges. But that's not quite the case, is it? I mean, he was arrested at Folkestone, I understand, trying to leave the country, presumably um, in a car to go on a, on, a, on a boat or to go on a train or something like that. Um, yes, I mean... The, but, he wasn't, used... but he wasn't actually arrested under terror charges, was he? Um, he was arrested under uh, provisions under the Terrorism Act, um, but he wasn't actually uh, 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 as such um, charged or indeed uh, further investigated right. for, for terrorism. Uh, and he was... So what, but, but you see, this is part of the problem of what I mean by him, him sort of running rings around the system, because when you say he was arrested under terror charges, I mean, he's clearly not a terrorist, is he? Certainly not. I mean, uh, certainly from the uh, uh, information that's been provided, uh, he has clearly obviously spoken out about matters that he uh, believes in. Not everybody necessarily agrees with him. Uh, and uh, it, there is this argument with regards to freedom of speech. Right. And uh, that, that is something that obviously... But so can you, can you explain great. briefly how the Terrorism Act is relevant then? Well, it, it has, uh, subsequently wasn't found to be relevant because he was uh, released on, on bail. Uh, he had initially been uh, arrested by the police uh, uh, on, uh, on, under the Terrorism Act, um, but they obviously realised that that wasn't going to be right. something... But why would they do that, then? Um, uh, if they suspect that somebody may be uh, involved in activities that uh, relate to... Uh, terrorist activities, they can stop and obviously question those individuals. Right. But that means they can stop and arrest me on the grounds that they think I'm involved in terrorist activity. That's, uh, that's, yes. I think that's the problem it's, with the it's law, very, though, isn't it? Yes, it's very widely uh, drafted. Um, it, you, <laughs> you could be wandering by uh, what are known as restricted areas and be stopped by the police. You might be just out taking your dog for a right. walk. Um, and you can be stopped. Right. So uh, they didn't is, stop him on the basis that they didn't stop him on the basis that he was due to to be in court. Um, well, they were aware that there were there, there was a warrant, but he the warrant had been issued, and uh, he was subsequently released on conditional bail, right. uh, to return to the court in order to deal with that. Right. And that's to do with a different action altogether, which is all to do with libel. Yes, it's a civil matter. Um, mm. And uh, in, in essence, uh, what had happened was that the event that obviously you're showing uh, uh, on on here in right. Trafalgar Square, um, uh, it, there was a, a video that was uh, shown, which had previously been found to be libelous, and uh, he was obviously being asked to go before the court yeah. in order to uh, deal with the contempt. Uh, proceedings. Yes, because he had previously been fined for showing that video, right? Yes. Uh, um, there had been a ward of uh, damages as well. Right. So basically, he, the, he. This is what I mean by him sort of running rings around the judicial system because he seems to do whatever he wants to do. And then he can tell his supporters pretty much anything. They'll believe what he says. And it seems as though there's this major conspiracy going on against him, which may or may not be the case. Well, uh, I can't comment on whether there's a conspiracy. Um, so far as running rings around are concerned, um, uh, Mr Robinson has to be very careful because uh, whilst um, 
he might try and push things in terms of this particular matter. Right. Uh, if he is obviously uh, well, with, with the warrant and he fails to attend on the warrant, uh, whilst he may think that it's a, a civil matter and therefore not subject of extradition proceedings, mm. it can be can be considered right. as a criminal uh, uh, offence for the purposes of the Extradition right. Act. So at the moment, uh, is he likely to be extradited back to Britain? Um, well, it really depends on whether Mr Robinson subsequently uh, returns to, to the UK voluntarily. Um, as I understand it, uh, there is a date in October that he's been requested to attend, and uh, that uh, obviously is the date that I think the judge has got in mind in terms to have him return in order to answer to right. uh, alleged contempt. OK. So if he comes back in October, they're not likely to arrest him then for anything? Not at that stage. Um, obviously, if he fails to return, then clearly they can proceed with uh, the the warrant. The warrant will be issued. It will be circulated amongst uh, the various uh, member states of the uh, EU uh, who are obviously still signed up with us under a trade and cooperation agreement. So this is subsequent to Brexit, um, and uh, that still allows for cooperation in order to have him extradited back to the UK. Right. But meanwhile, the film in question is still available on social media. Uh, yes, and people need to be very careful about that because if they uh, share it, uh, they then too can uh, be subject to libel, okay. uh, libel proceedings. Right. So yeah, it is something that um, whilst uh, with modern media uh, it, things are circulated, uh, the law still uh, remains in place. Okay. Julian, thanks very much indeed. Julian Hayes there trying to untangle the rather tangled web. Uh